I'm Mark. Hi, I'm Eli. Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm Emily. And I'm Gabriel. Our problems are we don't have enough um, plants in our garden, so we aren't getting enough pollinators. So <coughs> the amount of plants that we have in our garden are dying. Um, so also now we are have, getting less and um, more or less plants, like about every month. Stakeholders. Second graders, which is Holstrom, Rooney's class, Miss Tennis class, and Holstrom. The Butterfly Pavilion, Miss Amy, helped us learn a little bit about um, a habitat garden. The CSU gave us, um, when Miss Tennis was at a meeting, she, they gave us a bunch of seeds. Jane Goodall gave us a um, two, $200, 200 gift card. And Home Depot will provide most of the supplies we need. <clears throat> Our solutions are um, to the garden. We're going to add more features, so like our pergola or something. Um, we need to add more perennial plants, and perennial means it's all through the year except winter. Um, we need to provide more flowers in our garden, and then we need to add more bark, bark and mulch to cover the soil, so then it's good soil. Benefits. We need healthy food. We need more food for the people who don't have any food at all or have no money to get food. We need steady pollinators because every year the, poll the pollinators get heavier. on the lily pads. Right here and right here is the yucca. We're going to put um, the iris right here and then we're going to put the purple poppy mallow here. Um, we're going to put a pergola here and uh, all the red space is uh, the, the brick path and the brown is, or the yellow is the mulch that um, covers the soil. And then around it Around it, we just put green. <coughs> and path. 
We're going to help people in need of food. And it, we have the flowers also so it can clean the air because it brings, it brings in dirty air and it comes out clean air. It beautifies the community because the flowers are pretty and since the, the flowers surround the community, um, it makes the community pretty too. It provides a habitat for animals who don't really have a home. <coughs> Excellent. So I would like to find out who's going to plant the garden and who's going to take care of it once you have planted it. Well, then the, the community and we are going to take care of it and some pollinators. Yeah, so um, everybody that's like around the garden can come in and help and we, every like two months or three months, we plant new soil. And we're gonna have days where we're gonna, we have people that are gonna sign up to help take care of it a certain day. Any more? Oh, one more. First off, great job guys. Uh, I wanted to ask you if there was, um, is there, is there some way that these flowers that you're going to plant here are going to help the vegetable garden? Is there a, is there a relationship there? Yes, because um, hopefully from the pollinators there, they're going to hopefully come over to the vegetables. And when they have the vegetables are open, so <coughs> then they can have the flowers, and then maybe they're going to pop, we're hoping that they're going to pollinate it. Did he have an answer to you? I think he had the same one as me. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, good. Nice. Well done. Nice. Yeah, great job, guys. Thank you.